to carbfishing.tips. Today we'll be talking about pop-up boilies. As you can see, we made some pop-up boilies using our feeding frenzy ground bait. You'll notice that there are some holes in these boilies. That's because we pre-made the holes with a toothpick before we put them in the microwave. We also made some solid ones so that we could test what the difference would be in putting the, the hole in with a boilie drill after they'd been in the microwave. Here you can see the size comparison with a standard 18 mm boilie. That's a normal boilie that sinks to the bottom of the... It's not a pop-up boilie. And as you can see, our boilies are fairly comparable. Here you can see what our Freeding Frenzy boilies look like after a day in the water. Here you can see our test of the Feeding Frenzy pop-up boilie. This, ran, this test was run over one hour and it was with a boilie with a pre-made hole using the toothpick before we put it in the microwave. This test runs over 60 minutes. Obviously we've sped up the video to keep the video as short as possible. So far so good, we don't seem to be losing any buoyancy. We also jiggled it around just to make sure that there wasn't something weird going on that we couldn't see um, with regards to the buoyancy of the pop-up boilie. But for the hour that we tested it, it was working 100%. Um, after 24 hours, they do take on a lot of water. Here we have the Feeding Frenzy pop-up boilie, but this is with boilie drill made whole. As you can see, the buoyancy is not as high as it was before, um, but we could put that down to the way the line uh, is sitting. We couldn't get it to be exactly perfect. Here you notice the moment we knock the, the boilie, it starts to drop. And over time, we can see that it starts to lose centimeters. As, as time goes on, it starts to sink towards the bottom. Not too bad for one hour, not too bad for a drilled boilie, considering that it's probably taking on a lot of water in the process. Here we have a test of our feeding frenzy ground bait. We put it on a red flay tracer and stuck it in the water with a boilie. You can see the boilie there milling around. Um, this test was also run over 60 minutes. And you can just see how it creates quite a nice bit of ground bait. It has various um, particles in it, so it, it moves up and down. You have a bed at the bottom. You have pieces coming off of it and floating up. We haven't put anything into it in terms of uh, chemical attractants or smells or anything like that. It's pure raw material ground bait. Very plain. And as you jiggle it around, you see how it uh, comes off of the tracer, the red flag tracer, quite quickly. This is a feeding frenzy pop up boilie with a pre made hole. We pre made the hole by sticking a toothpick into the raw dough, then putting it into the microwave nuking it for 30 to 60 seconds and then we put it into the concentrate for 24 hours. As you can see in the beginning it oozed off quite a bit. Now it's the buoyancy hasn't gone away but it's not oozing as much as it was.
here we have the boilie with the boilie drilled hole. Uh, to our stupidity, I suppose, we drilled the hole into the boilie and then put it into the concentrate, which is probably a bad idea. But as you can see from this video, the boilie actually kind of sits off of the ground and not quite on the ground. It's not stuck to the ground, it more like hovers above where the where the red flow tracer is but as you can see over time it does tend to sink Here we have the bait vault pop-ups. We also ran these for 60 minutes. This is with a pre-made hole. So again, we took the dough, formed a boilie, stuck a toothpick through it, um, remolded the boilie a little bit to make it a bit round again, stuck it into the microwave for 30 to 60 seconds, and then we ran a test with a new rig and a new bottle. As you can see over the 60 minutes that we ran the test, the boilie didn't move much. It stayed in the same center of gravity. It hasn't really sunk, it hasn't done much. We did find that after 24 hours it had expanded quite a bit and it became very, very, very soft. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate having your time. I hope you learned something. I hope this gives you some ideas for your own carp fishing please be sure to subscribe and share with all your copy friends.